Hey ladies! I say ladies only because you men may not be very comfortable with this topic. I just want to warn you right now before you get into this video. I have been using the Diva Cut for 8 months now and been traveling for 6 months. Since I've had so much experience with the Diva Cup and I know a lot of my friends don't even know that the Diva Cup exists, so I thought it would be a good idea to go over the pros and cons. I will start with the pros. You are going to save money. Tampons in the city I was buying a medium box once a month and that would be $9 to $12. If I add that up for the year, it comes up to a little over 100 And that's on the low end. And the Diva Cup, it's only like $25 on Amazon. So it's more cost effective. You know, you're saving over $70 a year. So that can go towards travel. You change it less frequently. The box recommends 10 hours. I watched a ton of videos before buying the Diva Cup and I know there are women who went 12 hours, maybe longer. I personally have gone longer. That's just because I've been traveling and I may be on a bus for 16 hours and I'm not gonna change it in a bus bathroom. So I have gone longer, I'm fine. You save space. When you're traveling, whether it be long term or short term, no one wants to stick a whole box of tampons in their bag. That takes up a lot of space. Just having this little guy, I mean, it fits in the palm of your hands. And one of the biggest pros, which is why a lot of women switch to the Diva Cup, is because it's silicone based, so it doesn't harbor bacteria. It's just better for your body. When I was doing research, I found that the Diva Cup reduces cramping for some women. That actually wasn't the case for me. I don't know if you have ever had that experience. If you have, let me know. I'm, I'm so curious because I actually had the opposite effect. So if you are struggling with odors and can't figure it out, maybe giving the Diva Cup a shot would work. So now to the cons. The first con, it is absolutely horrible in the beginning. It takes a lot of time to get used to it. I was very intimidated by it. I did not want to use it when I was on the first couple days of my period. I waited till like the last day when I was just spotting just to test it out. So I was running late for work, try to remember everything from the videos, I read the instructions really fast, I put it in. It was a little uncomfortable but I was like I'm sure that's normal. Grab my stuff, ran to the subway station and as soon as I got to the subway platform I was standing there and I felt it coming out. I was just I was freaking out. I was like oh my god is it gonna come out? Should I go home? I was already late. Thankfully I made it with no issues but I was walking so funny I know I was. I just ended up taking it out when I got to work because I just I didn't put it in right and I didn't want to fuss with it when I was at work. And then once I finally got it in right taking it out Oh, it was the worst. It was so, so bad. I felt like I was giving birth to a diva cup. And I don't know what giving birth is like, but that is what I imagine. It was really bad. I did finally get it out, but it was not fun. And that almost made me want to stop using it, but I knew that I would have to get the hang of it because I wouldn't be able to use tampons in some of the foreign countries. So I used to work out a lot and I did CrossFit. So we're doing a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of sprints, just more high intensity workouts. And it wasn't comfortable for me. When you're lifting heavy, you're using your core and when you're using those muscles, you're pushing and sure enough, it it came down, it didn't pop out, but it, it came down. So I had to go back to the bathroom and put it back up. I just gave up working out with it just because I didn't want to deal with having the fear of it popping out while I was squatting. Plan out your day and think about when you'll have time to change it. You have to try to think, of, am I going to be at my office? Am I going to be on a train? Am I going to be flying? Whatever the case is. So you want to try to plan it out. The reason you want to plan it out is because it is so messy and that might be my biggest con we're in hostels all the time and you're in a communal bathroom and you have to go to the bathroom clean out the cup and they say to rinse it off but it's not like you can go use the sink in the bathroom and clean out your period cup it's just gross I will tend to wait until I shower and I'll clean it out that way they also recommend to boil it before you start your next cycle and quite honestly I've only been able to do that a handful of times because again I'm staying in hostels. I'm not gonna take my diva cup to the kitchen and boil it in the community pot. It's just disgusting. I really just clean it in the shower and I try to turn the water on hot and that's how I've cleaned it. I've been fine not recommending any of these things. I'm just saying that I have done it and everything has been fine for me.
Okay, sorry, so I had to change the memory card and Mark's not here to adjust it, so I'm gonna end the video real quick. Overall, my experience with the Diva Cup has been so-so. Yeah, I'm not in love with it. I either choose tampons or the Diva Cup. If I find tampons anywhere, I will be like, yes, give me a box, I'll go through those, and then I'll deal with it and use the Diva Cup. It really isn't my favorite. Maybe when I get back to the States, I'll order a different brand and try that out and see if I like it. If any of you guys have used any different brands and you feel that they're more comfortable please let me know <laughs> hope you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you did and if you guys have any questions about the diva cup let me know just comment below and if you just want to share your experience I would love to know that I'm not the only one going through this so let me know below I'd love to hear from you guys that's it for today and I will see you guys on the next video bye